OK, so. This next question, applying these uh, Z scores, standard deviations, means to a real life application. Um, this comes up almost all the time as actual data. So the mean length of a human pregnancy is 271 days. And if 95% of all human pregnancies last between 257 and 285 days, so what's the standard deviation? So remember, 95%. That takes into account two standard deviations above and below, again, using what they call the empirical rule. So let's just kind of mark this out here as to what we have according to, so normal distribution, mean down the middle, says the mean is 271. And then what it says is, if you 95%, so remember 95% goes out two standard deviations. So from here to here, that would be two standard deviations and they say 257 up to 285. And so how far out is that on either side from 257 to 271 or 271 up to 285? My brain can do this side easier for some reason. It says that that's 14. If I add 14 onto 271, that's 285. If I added 14 here, that's 271. But remember, that's two standard deviations. So that means each one of these are just seven. So one standard deviation, if I took seven off from here, would be what, 264? And if I went up seven, this would be at 278. So between 264, and 278, remember empirical rule says 68% of the pregnancies would be between those two. And what we were given was this part that this is 95% um, of the pregnancies. But again, the question was asking, what's the standard deviation? And that's the seven that we got by looking at two standard deviations are these numbers. Um, then it goes on and it says after that, so the standard deviation comes out to seven. The percent of human pregnancies that are expected to be 281. So 281 is not in our chart here, notice. 281 is not in the chart. So if you go 281, what they're asking is about minus our mean of 271. That means we're 10 above, right? We're 10 days beyond the mean, and then divide that by the standard deviation of seven, and 10 divided by seven, just because our z-scores are usually in decimals, is gonna be 1.42857-ish, because it keeps going. Okay, so then, um, if it asks for the pregnancies at that, this is our Z, or we are you know, just a little less than one and a half standard deviations above the mean up here. Because we're well, someplace, someplace, because it was 10, that's seven above. So we're someplace in here. Um, so, Let's see, 1.4287, if we look on this chart, if we can find out if it's on this one or the one, 1.4, and then an eight would be in between here. So I'm gonna use the three, 0.423, 0.423, and remember that's 42, 0.3%, which means that that's above the 50% right here. So if you go from here up to here, 50% add on the 42.3% would be 92.3%. So there'd be just what, 7.7% above here. And then this percent, is what's below there. And the question asked, so go back, always important to make sure you answer the question they asked. 
um, they're going to last at least. So that much and below would be at least, or is that much? And then are the amount that's above, above that at least that long? If they're going to last at least that long, is 290 at least 281? Yes. Is 270 at least 281? No. So if we're at 92.3, then the ones that are at least that, meaning more than that, what is above that 92.3, 7.7% or take 100 and subtract that 92.3 off of it. There you go.